Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another daily energy draw. This is going to be for Wednesday, August 14th, 2019. Today we're going to be using the Enchanted Map. I've been called to this deck, um, a little bit of a glare. I've been called to this deck um, quite a bit the past few weeks, so um, interesting the message that, messages that are coming out for it, so I'm curious to see, curious to see what we have uh, for today. This is going to be August 14th. Make sure you stay tuned for the Union Energies update, which will be going up on the channel today. Um, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a beat. Friday, we'll have the Divine Partnership reading. We'll also have um, Romance Angels Friday. And tomorrow... I didn't double check, but I'm pretty sure tomorrow is the full moon, um, the 15th. I, I will double check that before we get into the reading. Um, so, we will see. What do we have, Spirit, for Wednesday, August 14th? It's the middle of August already. This year has been flying. I keep wanting to say it's July. It's not July. It's not July. Time is, um, time's feeling very strange lately. One more. Okay. August 14th, 2019. August 14th, 2019. Spirit, what do you have to say for Okay. Um, two cards came out, and I'm going to take them both. We have Making a Choice. Which, when it first came out, I thought it said making a change. And sad embrace. So the energy, I want you guys to see both of those cards. You see how there's two doorways there? And you see this card as well? Um, the energy that I'm getting from this is the old and the new. The old and the new. Um, it's that... Two of Wands energy that we have been channeling for the past, I don't even know, the past, at least the past month. Um, it's the, in the Gilded Tarot, and I'm not going to get it, um, the Gilded Tarot, it's two wands in the middle of a field, and there's, there's two paths that you can choose from, well-traversed paths, um, well-tread well paths. Um, what they've been channeling to me with that was that that the, the well-traversed paths are the 3D, it's the 3D, and the doorway, the two wands creates a doorway for new, the new world, new earth. And it's not a path that has been walked before. That's you as light workers. Um, but you have a choice. You can continue on the 3D paths um, or you can go through the doorway of this new earth. That, and the doorway being the next stage in your evolution, the next stage in your soul's growth. Um, because you're ready for it is what I'm hearing. You're ready for it. And if you haven't gone through that doorway yet, if you haven't felt that shift, that transformation, um, know that you have the choice. Because the doorway is always open. Like the portals are always opening. Energy is always shifting. It, you're right on time for your soul's growth. So don't feel like you're behind anybody. Don't feel like anybody's too far ahead. You are exactly where you need to be for your soul's growth. Always have confidence in that. You're exactly where where you need to be um, exactly where your soul wants you to be. Now you're making a choice. You're making a choice where you can continue on those paths, the 3D paths, the path that you've known, um, but that's just going to continue the karmic cycle. That's just continuing the cycle. Or you can walk through that doorway. Here you have, again, you have a choice between the doorways. Can you guys see that? choice between the doorways and it's interesting because it's almost like where am I here there's a piece of that is exiting this doorway the 3d paradigm and merging you see how this is more celestial and there's a butterfly there um the, the butter I don't know if there's a butterfly it looks like a piece of to me but whatever that is coming out of the doorway coming out of the 3d cycle moving over to the new earth moving over to this metamorphosis for this new earth. And you know, see how it's like more celestial, that it's more ethereal in a sense? This is a choice that's to be made. Um, this is the change that's to be made. It is going to change your life. And that's part of the sadness and the nostalgia. I'm also hearing some of the fear that you might be feeling um, because it's almost like, okay, if I move into this new earth, if I move into this new paradigm, what will I have to leave behind? It's understand that spirit is very sympathetic to that it's not moving to a new paradigm new earth wherein you're packing up your bags and you're 
changing houses, you're, you're changing states, you're changing countries. It's not like that. Um, it's a shift in consciousness. It's a change in consciousness. It's a transformation within the self. So they're sympathetic to the fear. They're sympathetic to this feeling of sadness of you're leaving something behind. In a way, you are. In a way, you are. You're leaving your old self behind. You're leaving, in some cases, your old identity behind, your old vibration behind. Um, in some cases, you might even be leaving energies behind. Um, this could be um, friends who you no longer vibe with, relationships that no longer work for you. Um, but it's not, you're not, it's not like you're never going to see those people again. It's not like you're not going to talk to them again. It's not like they're not still going to be your family. It's not like they're not still going to be your friends. It's not like you're still not going to engage in them. It's just a different vibration. So you're going to, you're going to communicate with them differently. Your relationship with them is going to shift. Um, so it's not going to, it's a transition. It's not going to be that harsh, okay, I'm never going to see you again. See ya, I'm off to another country. I'm off to another world. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's it's not like that. I, I say that so gently because spirit is being very, very gentle with the energy. It's not like that. It is a vibration shift. It is an evolutionary shift. It's a transformation within yourself. And so yes, as you transform within yourself, the old vibration, the old way of looking at things might feel a little bit foreign. Um, it might feel a little bit like you have left something behind. It is because you have. You have left the old you behind, but it's a transition. You're still you. You're still your soul. You're just lighter in your being. You're just understanding yourself more. You're more self-aware. You're not holding on. You still have your memories. But you have more of your memories. You have more past life experiences. You have more wisdom. You have more knowledge. You have more understanding. You have more. It's not so much that you're leaving something behind as you're gaining more of yourself. You're not so much leaving your old self behind as you're gaining more of your true self. That's the transformation. That's the transition. And um, the fear of it might be holding you back. The fear of... It might be causing you some hesitation, but understand that you're not truly leaving anything behind. You're not truly leaving your old life behind so much as you're moving into something better. You're not, you're not in a way, giving anything up. You're just shifting into this next phase of your life. You're just shifting into what's better. So, okay, so for example, they give me this example. If you were really happy with your life of being single, being, um, you know, feeling free, feeling like I can do whatever I want, no responsibility, whatever, you know, whatever that, that was for you. But you have met a partner, you've met your divine counterpart perhaps, um, and you are envisioning your dream of a happy home life with them. This new vibration is shifting you into that because you have transformed through this relationship. You've transformed through this partnership. So it is shifting you out of the old where you might be, maybe you're not going to be single anymore. Um, maybe that is what you fear leaving behind, the hesitation of leaving that behind. But it's shifting you into something better. It's shifting you into this new world of something better because you have transformed, you're ready for it. And you feel it. That old life doesn't serve you anymore. That old that old identity doesn't serve you. But it's not like you're going to be jarred from that single life into one of, of relationship. It is that transition. You're transitioning into that because you're ready for it. Because your soul is ready for it. Because you recognize that the old you wasn't serving what you want to go towards. What your soul wants you to go towards. What your heart is calling you towards. It's just this sadness of knowing that you have to leave behind the old in order to gain the new. But again, you're not like packing up your bags and saying, see ya. This is just a transforming from, from your old self, your old identity into the new. It's a choice that you have to make. It's a choice for a change that you have to make. And Spirit is saying that you're ready for it. You're just holding on. You're just holding on out of fear and hesitation. But... They want you to trust. Yesterday's um, daily energy draw was all about having faith. They want you to trust and have faith in your own transformation. Have faith in yourself. 
that you're ready for this, that you're ready for this. So the example that I give um, single to relationship was just an example that they were giving me. Um, that might be the energy that some of you are in, especially for divine counterparts. But it could also be um, letting go of a job that you know isn't working out for you anymore. You know it's draining your energy. You know that you're meant for something else. Um, and maybe there's a hobby that you want to transform into a career. Um, so it's that transition. It's, it's that walking through the doorway. But perhaps you you liked what you were doing. Um, there was just certain aspects of it that were draining you. Perhaps you liked your coworkers. It doesn't mean that you're leaving behind your coworkers. It doesn't mean that you're leaving cold turkey anything behind. You're just, this is all energetic, you guys. Those are just examples of the 3D reality that you might be experiencing changes in. It's the main point they want to get across is that this is all energetic because you are raising in your vibrations because you are transforming in yourself you are leaving the old you behind what you thought of as the old you behind and as that happens you're transforming and transitioning into the new. It's all energetic. And so you might be relating to people differently. You might be experiencing your work or your career differently as you move more into your mission. You might be experiencing relationships differently, be perceiving relationships differently, you, you know, moving out of that single mindset into one of one, wanting more harmony, wanting more unity, wanting more partnership. It's all energetic. It's all about perception. It's all about a shift in consciousness. The new earth, is not a physical place. It's not a physical dimension. It is the third dimension is the physical realm. The third dimension is that physical see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. The fifth dimension is a shift in consciousness, a shift in perspective. And so that is the transition. That is what you're ready for. That is what this new earth is. But you still might be holding on to that third dimensional mindset out of fear, out of hesitation, the old you, out of fear, out of hesitation, out of um, a little bit of anxiety of making this change. But all you have to do is make the conscious decision for this shift, and it will shift you. It will shift you into this new, this new you. It is a new you. You're ready the new you. You're ready for this. You're ready to transform. Your soul feels this. So, so just allow the change to take place. Just allow the change to take place. Feel what you need to feel. Um, as you move through this transformation, but but just open up your heart to allowing this transformation to take place because on the other side of that door, it is everything your heart wants. It's everything your soul wants. It's a brand new world, still being the old you, but it's a, it's a brand new, higher vibrational, energetically aligned world. Okay. All right. <laughs> I hope that made sense. We're getting some really interesting messages for the daily energy draws this week. Some really um, messages along the lines of new earth and the new paradigm and energy shifts and transformation. So I feel like a lot of you are really going through that transformation as well. Um, so take the messages as they resonate with you. If they're not resonating with you, just disregard it. It just means it's not meant for you at this time. Because um, remember, the timestamps are just timestamps for the channel. Um, take the message when they resonate for you, how they resonate for you. All right, you guys, that's going to be it. Tomorrow we're going to have um, the, I'm going to use the Moonology deck for the full moon. And then Friday we'll have Romance Angels Friday. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. And today we'll also have the Union Energy update going up on the channel um, this afternoon. So make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for that as well. All right. <laughs> Send you guys so much love, so much light, and we'll see you soon.